Melbourne, what an exciting time to be in the beef industry. Yeah, it's great, Kel, to see so much positivity within the industry and, you know, the Australian Eastern Young Cattle Indicator a couple of weeks ago cracked a thousand cents a kilo and, and everything's so positive within the bull sales and, and the industry at the moment. Look, it's really exciting and I think a, a great opportunity for producers to hit the reset button after a few tough years and, and really rebuild their cow herds. Last week we see that once again Palgrove had some exciting news in the RNA paddock to pallet. Yeah, it's exciting news. For the fourth consecutive year we've, we've won the 100 day grain fed class, HGP class, and we also won the, won the HGP free class as well. You know, it's such a commercial relevant competition that I think really benchmarks our genetics against some of the best in the business. And for us, it really just highlights that, you know, we're, we're supplying our clients with profitable genetics. We have increased our numbers a little bit on last year, so we'll have 186 bulls in total, 110 Charolais and 65 Ultra Blacks, and also our inaugural offering of Brangus bulls, so we'll sell 11 Brangus bulls in this year's sale. I'm making up the Charolais, 89 of those 110 bulls will be polled and 20 of them will be homozygous polled, 25 red factors. But again, within the Charolais we'll have our two-year-old section and also our 15 to 17 month old bulls. Some of those sire lines on offer in the, in the two-year-old sections, Palgrove Landmark is certainly making his mark as a leading sire of, of his generation, you know, he's a fantastic phenotype, no gaps in his performance data and he's got a great combination of carcass and, and performance. Palgrove Justice is another sire that features within the sale. He's got a fantastic son at Lot 3. Again, we've collected semen in him. Palgrove Milo was a bull we retained. He's got a fantastic bull in Lot 5. He's just plenty of volume and capacity and, and thickness to us. He's a, he's a standout sire. Again, we've retained semen in him and, and there's a number of Milo sons in there you'll just see and they're, they're peas in a pod and he's certainly stamped them. I got a great draft of yearling bulls, leading off with a son of HJR crowd favourite who's bull out of Canada. You know, he's lot 56, he's red factor, homozygous, polled and, and you know, a bull that we really think a lot of. And Ben, you're really kicking some goals with these ultra black bulls. Today they were so eye appealing in the paddock and they just look fantastic, so can you tell me a bit more about them? Yeah, well our RNA paddock to pallet cattle made, were made up of Charolais and Ultra Black Cross. So to me we were kicking goals there on, on the commercial front here. I think we've just really, you know, gone from strength to strength and just raised the bar within this Ultra Black program. And there's some, certainly some exciting new sidelines lines in, in our Ultra Black section. Soon's business line has 20 sons out of out of the whole offering and so look they're some really exciting cattle they're just you know he's putting so much consistency and you know adding so much length big scrotal great carcass attributes and skin type the lot 112 bull he's the full brother to the high selling bull at scone we've collected about five or six hundred straws of this bull and and we think a lot of him there's also a phenomenal run of yearling ultra black bulls in the sale and a number of business line suns stand out there but in particular lots 151 and, and 148. Another sire that's breeding really well for us is CRC Guardian out of out of the States. He's certainly a source of performance and carcass trait. He's also got a couple full brother Brangus sons in the sale too that are that are some of the feature lots of the Brangus section. And he's also got a cracking yearling son in the sale at lot 144. Soon's Foundation is another bull that's we've been using within the program for a while. You know, he's just transmitting so much sire appeal and presence and we've got four Foundation sons already being used in the program and, and one of his feature lots within the sale is lot 115 and you know he's the bull on the back cover and phenotypically just one of the most eye appealing beef bulls I think you will see. Uh, there's a phenomenal set of yearling bulls within the ultra black section and one of the leading size there, they're the first sons that we've sold of, of Soon's Majestic Beacon. Then once again it's bull sale time and we're still confronted with COVID. Yeah look as it stands now I guess things are changing daily so we'll continue to monitor the situation but certainly you know it will be a COVID safe environment at the sale. We're going to have videos of every lot online uh, both on our website and Auctions Plus. 
once again, Ben, what a fantastic lineup of balls. So good luck to you and the rest of the Pale Grove team for Saturday. Uh, thanks, Kel, and, and thanks for your help today. And, and we look forward to seeing everyone on Friday, the 10th of September.